the real question here is what is bad code and what is good code actually bad code is just code that wastes processing time in your game so i know in many of my tutorials i use bad code um it's not my fault i didn't really know but anyway today i'm gonna set things straight if you're new here consider subscribing i make good tutorials like this now the thing is how do you avoid bad code before typing a line in a built-in function like the ready function, the process function, physics process, whatever built-in function, you have to think, is there any other approach to this? Or what you can think is, can I use functions, can I use signals, can I just not put it in the built-in function? I know what I'm saying might not make sense to you or even to me, but hopefully it does or it will. For example, not everything is meant to go into the ready function. You can actually put some in the init function. For example, if you don't want to set the texture of a sprite in the editor and you want to set it between time in the game, you can actually put it in the init function rather than in the ready function. You can literally do this for any node, things like color rect, you can set the color, you can set the rect position, and all this cool stuff. But another question is what is the init function? The init function is being called when the node is initialized in the scene. So which means it's being called before the ready function. The ready function is being called when the node and all its children are ready. Another example of bad code. If I have like a complex hierarchy of nodes and I want to get one particular node, I can say get parent, the get parent, the get parent, the get node, then get the node. But I can simply use the f4 variable and assign it to whichever node I want to use. This is not only good for better coding practices, but it's also good in case you move that node to another place or something. If you won't have to go back to the code and rechange all those long words and stuff. Then after that, you can go to the ready function and assign that variable to a get node of that variable. The reason why we're doing it in the ready function and not the init function is because in the init function, not all the nodes are ready, which will throw us an error, so it's best to use it in the ready function. Another good example is the shooter you just saw. In the gun code, where the bullet is created, if you preload the scene every frame, it's going to waste processing time. Rather, you can preload it at the beginning of the script and just reuse that variable a lot of times. Making variables and reusing them actually saves processing time. Actually, you might not notice the processing time is being wasted, but if it's too much, it's going to be noticed. Now let's go to the coding aspect. If I have particles like this, and I only want to emit them when I'm not on the ground, like for example, I'm flying or something, I can say if grounded particles dot emitting equals true, else equals false. But that's actually going to waste time. What you can do is just say particles dot emitting equals to not grounded or you can use the not statement if you like. Both are the same thing which is returning a true or false value to it. And also you can still use this in other aspects like this speed aspect here as you can see instead of typing all that long code you can just simplify it in just one line. I think that's it guys later I'll be doing more videos based on good code bad code for now this is all thanks for watching consider subscribing if you want more godot tutorials see you guys next time and goodbye